In this video, we'll cover how to locate kitchen islands or broadloom inserts in a room. To begin, let's go ahead and open up a sample project file and we'll start off by locating an island in a kitchen. When working on site, it can often be a little tricky to locate an object that's floating in the middle of a room. To begin, we'll go to the drawing tools icon and tap on the dimension line option. What we'll want to do here is stand at one of our reference corners and shoot a measurement to the wall. In this case, we'll start off by selecting the top right corner of our kitchen island and we'll shoot from this corner horizontally across to get the distance to place the island from that wall. Next, we'll stand in the same spot, but we'll take a vertical measurement from that same location off of a reference wall to get started. In this case, we're using our laser and then we're modifying the dimensions by hand to simulate what's going on. In our case, our island will start at 11 feet 4 inches by 6 feet. Now that we have this corner located, we can use our laser to actually draw out the island to size. We'll use the elevation tool here, and we can either use the laser to capture the measurements or swipe them in manually. In our case, our island will be three feet wide. By five foot six. We can then swipe to close out the shape. In this way, we can locate the location of an object floating in the center of a room. We can use this same logic to draw a broadloom insert in a living room. Again, we'll use our dimension tool and we'll stand in a reference corner. In this case, we'll start from the top right again, and we'll capture the width from that point to the wall with our laser and input it manually using the same dimension line logic. And then we'll go ahead and capture the distance from the north wall using the same approach. We'll tap on the dimension line option and swipe until the measurement matches what we've seen with our laser. We can then use the laser to size the object just like we did with the kitchen island. In this way, we can finish marking out the broadloom location in this living room. For the broadloom insert, we're going to go ahead and use the divide floor tool and we'll measure this to size. In our case, our insert here is 8 feet by 8 feet. We'll finish drawing it out with the divide floor tool and then we can drag and drop our product in. In this case, we'll go ahead and use a 12 foot carpet for our example. Thanks for watching the video on how to locate inserts in kitchen islands. And don't forget that you can always tap on those dimension lines and hit the delete button to clean them up so your drawing will be nice and presentable for your customers.